Hi guys, as usual we are starting off with our eyebrows and we are starting by combing them then drawing an outline for the shape that I want and I normally want pointed um, eyebrows like that are pointing outwards, upwards because I feel like when I just draw using my natural shape well the eyeshadow is not visible depending on the eyeshadow I want to do so I'm just going to fill in that um, eyebrow outline yes the eyebrow outline that i've just drawn and i'm filling it in with a pencil and then i'm going in with an old mascara wand as i said because i don't have an eyebrow wax if you don't have an eyebrow wax this is a really good hack for you try a mascara that is not very new that like one that has not dried down completely but is not very new either Next, I'm just going to define my eyebrows using concealer so that they can be more visible on my face. And I'm using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Concealer in the shade Honey. This is just absolutely too light for my skin tone. I could definitely have gone a shade down, but this is what I have and that's what I'm going to use. And then we are going to apply that all over our eyelid also. And we are going to blend that in with a brush and make sure that it's evenly blended. Now time for eyeshadow. I'm taking that black eyeshadow. It's not really black black. It's like grayish black. Mm, as you can see. And I'm just drawing a C shape right at the outer corner of my eye in the crease. So I've just drawn like two C shapes. And then I'm going to go in with an orange shade and blend that out. Uh, so I'm starting with the gray part and then blending it out, just buffing it out to make sure that it's nicely blended. And then after taking the orange shade, I'm going to go in with another shade, which is actually yellow. The palette I'm using is the Makeup Revolution Marvelous Mattes Palette. And then I'm going in with that yellow shade and just blending out the orange. We want to create like layers of color. So it's like black transitioning into orange and then into yellow. And then, yeah, we'll be done with our outer corner. Then we want to do a cut crease. So I'm just using the same, same concealer, the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. And I'm just cutting my crease basically. Patting in that concealer. I would have loved to wipe out the eyeshadow first, but I just applied the concealer on top. Then we are going to go in with that yellow shade, the same same yellow shade that we applied at the end. We are going to apply it in the inner corner of our eye and we are just going to dab dab in and then I'm going to go in with those neon pigments. Some neon pigments are not supposed to be applied around the eye. But these ones didn't come with any instructions, so I'm just winging it. And then I'm just going to apply that yellow color in the inner center of my eye, actually. And then now this is white. I'm going to apply white right next to that yellow, that neon yellow. And then now we're going to do our... I think I'm satisfied with those results. You can blend it in a little bit just to make sure that it looks nice. And then now we are going to apply our, our eyeliner. And this one is for lining the water line. And I'm just using the Maybelline Argan Oil Kajal Call Black Eyeliner to do that. And then now I'm going to apply um, in the inner corner of my eye. I've just applied a little bit of that yellow. And then now we are also going to take this note uh, eyeliner and we are going to apply it in the outer corner of our eye just to create a wing. And also basically just apply our eyeliner, liquid liner, the normal way we apply liquid liner. Then I've put eyelashes, but the other eyelash, I put glue on the wrong lash. So I've just decided to rectify it and the other lash is drying out. So now I'm doing primer and for primer I'm using the Maybelline Luminous Primer illuminating primer so it's supposed to give your skin like a really nice sheen um a soft shiny finish and that's what i'm applying all over my face apart from the eyes of course because we've already done our eyes partially and then after that we are going to do our foundation and for foundation i'm going to use the Mate clinic sorry the clinic even better foundation and this is the shade uh, pecan I normally use spice, but depending on how my skin is going, of late I've been experiencing severe hyperpigmentation, and this is the shade Pecan. So uh, it's really warm undertoned, but I think it did well. 
and then now I'm applying just a setting powder after applying my foundation and I've also put the other lash if you haven't noticed and then we are going to do our concealer and for concealer I'm still using the same superstay uh, concealer and that's the shade honey as I told you guys which is super light I could definitely go down one shade light darker or two even and then I'm going to apply it all over my face not all over my face as you guys can see definitely not all over my face just the areas i've applied i'm patting it in with a brush and then after that i'm going in with a beauty blender just to make sure that everything is nicely blended thanks for the workout oh. hey, yo, 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 yo. that wasn't the workout, that wasn't the workout. That was the going to use my black opal uh soft velvet finishing powder to like um, bake the concealer and then now I'm going to do my nose. And for nose, I've just used two products. The NYX highlighter side and the, the, the Makeup Revolution bronzer in the shade Dark. Those are the two products that I'm using to contour my nose. So the, the bronzer is by Makeup Revolution and the highlighter is by NYX. And then now I'm going to go in. I've, I've actually removed the setting powder that I used to uh, set my concealer. I've removed it and now I'm applying the blush and the blush I'm not using really using blush blush per se. It's one of the Crayola lip crayons and that's the shade Mango Tango which acts as a highlighter come very mild blush. That's the one that I used. I patted it in and then now we are doing our lips and I'm going to line my lips as usual with a black pencil because I love black pencils more than brown ones. And then I'm just going to go in with um the, the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink and that's the shade Voyager. It's like a maroon shade and I'm just carefully applying it all over my lips. Make sure that it's evenly coated my lips and after that we are going to do another shade after yeah applying that Voyager shade. I'm still going to go in with another Super Stay Matte Ink lipstick and this is the shade amazonian now amazonian i'm just going to apply it because it's a really light shade of brown i'm going to apply it and blend it into the voyager shade and then after that i'm going to go in with this maybelline lifter gloss and that's the shade crystal which is like a brown shade it has like brown glitters inside so i'm going to apply it all over my lips just to create this beautiful beautiful color and then after that, I am going to go in with my finishing powder. And for finishing powder, I'm not going to use a setting powder. I'm going to use a black opal a matte foundation powder. Yes, I normally sometimes use foundation powders as finishing powders. And this is the shade dark that I used. And then for bronzer, I've still used the same Makeup Revolution bronzer and a little bit of highlighter by NYX. And this is the final look. I swear the life I'm living ain't the life I want. I wanna change the world, don't know where to start. I wanna do things, I wanna see things change. Yeah, I'm worried about the wealth, I ain't worried about the blame. Trying to do my thing, getting paid for it. Trying to live my life without paying for it. Have a well known life I was made for. And when I make it to the top, who I'm going thank for it, huh? They just talk a lot, they be off a lot, they don't need me home. I know I do a lot, do I move a lot, but I'll get where I'm going. They tried to hold me, they tried to break me down, they don't know that.